how do I feel looking back on 25 years? I'm incredibly proud that we are still here as such a vibrant organization. We are a bunch of guys who literally learn the game by watching it on YouTube. And they get hit, and they're like, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> the sense of camaraderie and, and seeing that continue off the field. It was in the first few years, it was kind of like, this could fall apart tomorrow. All is in readiness here, the stars are out, the big stage is here, the red carpet is rolled out. Looking forward to this as we like to say, a humdinger. And the question is, can you teach old dogs old tricks? This is a rematch of last year's grand final between the two sides. They made the grand final last year, now a rematch. It was a slugfest. Every single player on that team is a weapon. I'll tell you what, if that doesn't make the hair stand up on the back of your neck, you might want to check your pulse. So, hang on to a partner. This is going to get rough and ready. The two best uh, sides here at the Nationals get to rise into the top in Prince fashion. And these boys are going to get it on smash mouth in the middle. the fact that all these Americans love this sport. While standing in it, uh, while Philadelphia managed to hang on to win by two goals, the umpire is ready and so are we. The final game of round one of this 2022 USAFL National Championships. The afternoon session will begin in earnest. There goes the horn, there goes the whistle, there goes the ball, there go the big men, and we're underway once again as uh, both teams wearing blue, but the uh, Quebec Saints are wearing the white tops, so that isn't confusing at all. Turning and firing that one and spraying that one away, and then just kind of keeping that one in there was Sadiq Hassan, and then there was a big tackle as that one is sent out on the far side, and that one is sent back in towards the sticks. It's across the face, and the first point on the Watch AFL scoreboard goes to the Denver Bulldogs. They lead 1-0. Uh, that would have been Quebec. Oh, I'm sorry, Quebec, they lead one nothing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was really good play coming right out of the middle and going. That was really good. Oh, and we've got our first mascot. Oh, we got a mascot. There we go. We have our first mascot. The Denver Bulldog is out to the near side. So they go up high, and uh, that was a little bit of friendly fire as uh, Ryan Garthright could have taken the mark, but it was deflected away. And then everybody dog piles on the rabbit Garthright in there, punching at the footy, and we'll have a ball up on the near side. one nothing. Quebec, the score. I think Quebec. it's the uh, first part of the game, right? That's how it's going to come out. Yeah, pretty much. Ball comes back in the air once again, and uh, ball is it is one there. Knocking it down was Morgan White, who has experience on the Canadian Northwind team. That one is sent forward, and uh, just over to get it, just over the top of the head, picking it up on a bounce there is Luke Durkin. Dirk's going to handball it off, has an option there, sends that one deep and high and over the head, and trying to take that one back, but I think we have a whistle downfield, and we do. It'll be a free kick. It will go the way of 
the Denver Bulldogs. Yeah, that all started back down here. Some real good defense. The number nine got down on the ground and got a really clean handball out. That was really good to see. Kicking it long, forward line. Hit front and center, no one's there. That is the outside, as that one is now kicked in towards the sticks. Ball bounces away and uh, almost ring around the collar and your whole wash queen there. I believe that was Kenna who took it. And then that's able to get cleared out by Quebec. That one goes directly across the field. Now going over to get it after it is uh, Matty Moore. Moore couldn't uh, pick up the grease watermelon, got the handball off, finds a friendly face in Kieran Menon, and Menon sends that one across the way. And I believe that has gone straight out on the full, and it has. That's the second time off the deck, number nine for Denver's gone through. That's really good play. I love seeing that. Other, 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 no, the one on the right. The one on the right, just that one. So the kick in now, out to the near side. Nice mark taken. Chop that one off at the pass in Quebec. The wind is blowing across the field this yeah. way, so it is pushing the ball. This is going to be a lot of play right in front of us. And it's funny because I have, my binoculars are down in my bag. Thank you, Stacy. And uh, I was going to say the field play is right in front of us. So I might not need them. Contest and a nice mark over the back, and that one is taken by Brett Wyburn. Wyborn, which is sometimes why I ask that question. Wyborn. Ball will nurdle out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Watch AFL scoreboard score check. 1-0 Quebec. Brian Barish alongside. Tommy Ellis here on Go Live Sportscast. Yeah, that had Braden come up for that. It's, it's, it's good to see him come out of the back like that. Ball gets knocked down the ground. And uh, over to get it is... Quebec as they try to get it free. Over to go get it is Wyburn once again. And again, the ball goes out of bounds. Ball cried the crowd in your boots, says the umpire. And we'll have a boundary throw in about 60 meters around. The ball comes high in the air. The big men just ignore it. It bounces to the man and Matt Moore. Moore skittles that one forward, but only as far as uh, Yassine Bush. And uh, it's going to be a free kick. And going in to get it, I believe, was Moore staying with the play. We'll call that 46. That one is sent forward. Nice mark and chopped off at the pass. And that time it was, uh, I believe, 40, 40-something. 40 Out to the near side, but it's going to be turnover. And again, that's more. And again, uh, that little bit of mental letdown, and it's an easy pick. They go down the line. There's bump Casey free. Robinson. Casey Robertson, Robbo has been known to take some speckies, and the target has been Wyborn. The ball goes out of bounds. They're keying on Brett Wyborn in Quebec. But Casey Robertson has taken some of the best marks that I've seen in all the games that I've called so far. And that's what's so important. You have those guys come down and play in these divisions to help the new guys. Fantastic to see. I'll tell you what, I remember Denver's reserves. I think they played 12 games this year. I think the seniors teams only played maybe seven or eight. It wasn't that much, and they've really gotten their work out. This is Mark Collins with the foot. He sends that one in towards the pocket. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will be a free kick going the way once again of that man, Brent Wyburn. And he went to go play on. The umpire, Steve Arnett, is telling him to go back. Steve Arnett, one of many umpires who I'll say, one of the best umpiring in this USAFL configuration. Everybody comes together as if we're having a little fit, and then that one is sent forward uh, by the man in uh, Kenneth Boudreau, who sends that one forward, and then there's a big crash boom opera. The ball goes out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw it right near the interchange gates. The score still Quebec one and uh, Denver nothing. That's on the watch AFL scoreboard. Brian Barish with Tom Ellis. Yeah, it was good to see Ryan Garthright coming in for that. Ball comes back in the play once again, and uh, it's going to be cleared out now. And that one dropped in front, bounces away, and here comes Denver picking nice that shepherd. one up once again was Moore. Moore has been the prime mover, overcooked the kick, looking for Phil Bernard. He wished he was a little bit taller. He wished he was a baller. And now back the other way. He's coming and going to find uh, Robertson once again. Robertson wearing his trademark number one. Little handball, but the mustard came off the hot dog. Ball cried the crowd. No, says the umpire. And here they back the other way. Here comes Clock, one of the rookies. Going to send that one forward. Bounces in front. Couldn't get it cleanly. Ball goes to ground. Scooping that one up was Aaron Sullivan, the New Zealander, looking for the far side and finding Ryan Hall. Hall sends it back in the middle of the ground. Now we're playing Ariel Ping Pong. Here is Morgan White once again. Now he goes to the far side. Now we need the binoculars. Here comes Quebec. They go to the top of the 50-meter arc. 
Soccer that one forward and over into the corner. It's a one-on-one -on -one contest, and the big man fell over. He went go down, fall, boom. That was Philippe Jacques Zauer, and the ball comes back the other way now. Staying with it on both sides of the ground. The action is fast and furious. And it'll end up being a free kick for the doggies. And this is, again, it's a very, very frenetic start. We just have the one scoring shot. We haven't had anything since the opening couple of minutes of the game. Yeah, there's some there's some old names out there right now playing super, super good. Rich Man's out there again running what, 50 years now. Yeah. Rich, what a man, what a man, what a mighty rich man. Grill is not here, I have to do it. Ball goes to ground. Up on the far side now, and uh, ball squirts out free. Ball goes to ground once again, and that one goes free. Ball gets kicked up on the right, and it's marked the other way by Carrington Beard, one of my favorite names in the USAFL. Beard sends it forward. I wonder if his nickname is Coach, and where's Ted Lasso? That one is taken, I believe, by Gregory Bridges there, number 46. Whoops. As we make the thing shift and shape around. When it's sent in, Denver has it. Here's Andy Vanica. Vanica sends that one up on the far side. Balls. Well, big tackle. The ball came out loose, came out all funny-like. And that one is sent around the far side. That one comes out loose. Over to get it. Vanica throws his shoulder in. There's a handball up over the top. Couldn't handle it cleanly. Ball goes to ground. Going all the way down to the ground, I believe, was Nathan Blumenschein. Taking a run. And now here comes Vanica. Has a bounce. Sprays that one forward. Over to get it and picking it up nicely on one hand was, uh, was Bernard. Centers that one, but it bounces off of the chest of the man in Philip Camping. Now it comes back. Tries to go to the subway tunnel route looking for an express. Ended up getting a local. It was stopped by oh, one the of the Bulldogs. And in the back against, uh, on, uh, against Andy Vanica, he didn't get... He gets the free, it's for Andy Vanica, he gets the kick. Yeah, both teams are set up defensively behind the play very well. That's why, I mean, it's, both teams are playing very well on the defensive side of the field. This might be a, a situation where we may only see one or two goals in this entire game. Uh, well, of course, we might see how it is, but you're right, Tommy. The wind is blowing across from uh, across us or blowing right in our faces, so it's not influencing really the scoring so much. It's how the setup is. The ball comes back in the play from right in front of us near the Denver bench. Ball goes to ground. Uh, going after it is Durkin. Durkin, little handball over the top, goes over and finds the man in camping. Camping, that one had his return to center, kept in somehow by Andy Vanica, and Vanica had his blocked. A lot of... Uh, smothered, covered hash brown action going on here by Quebec, although they eat poutine up there probably more so than hash browns. Ball's on the deck, and now we have a rugby mall situation, and uh, if we go to the mall, we're going to have to stop at some hop topic. Oh, he's playing on. Oh, they've played on quickly. Into the middle of the ground, got a little incidental head contact, but he'll play on. Still one nothing Quebec on the watch AFL Richie scoreboard. Man, there There's is, Rich buddy. Man. Long time Cincinnati Docker, even longer time Denver Bulldog once ran this very tournament. Finds the man in the middle in Nicholas Moretto. And Moretto will look around and send that one forward. Dropped in front, looks to the left, throws that one onto the right now. Dropped in front. Long handball back. Now back into the middle. Finds the man out the back in Moretto. Moretto tries to send it forward. Hitting front and center. Yeah, it's got, oh, but it was, a, it was as he was looking for Sadiq Hassan, and he was tackled and thrown sideways, and so did the footy. Back the other way, now they come. Up the far side, sending that one forward. The Saints trying to link something together, and he finds a friendly face over on the intense side of the field because, once again, uh, Tommy, there are people over there in tents, especially the Cooper's Beer Garden, where it will fill up during the course of the day and even more so tomorrow. If you're watching us on Go Live Sportscast, that is going to be very, very full in about 24 hours' time. Meanwhile, here in the here and now, they look after the footy. Everybody goes down. Everybody gets <laughs> funk. Yeah, the big tackle. I'm going to say hi. <laughs> in fact, it was a little bit high. It was so high it was almost a scalping. But in fact, point of fact, it'll be a free kick. Denver's had the ball down here for a bit now. They really need to get it down to the forward 50 and get something out of it. Well, here's the free kick upcoming. And now the question will be whether how they scramble the Jets. 
Oh, good stabby, stabby kick right in front. That's the kind you want to uh, uh, get some scoring out of that. And uh, over to get it now with his back to us is Gregory Bridges. Bridges going after the footy with about four other guys for Denver. As the ball comes down, Denver tried to pick it up. And then that one is uh, skittered forward. And a big tackle. Oh, the big tackle in there by uh, Yanis uh, Bausch uh, in on the man on Moretto. And again, they go after the footy. And then the ball... Uh, just trickles to the top, and it'll be a free kick going the way of the Lessence du Quebec. Both teams are doing a really good job of getting the ball out from behind. Yeah, and it's almost like that, almost like a halfback option play in uh, in gridiron football where you have that man out the back who can either run it forward or put it to the foot and just go with a forward pass in the Aussie rule sense, so to speak. Yeah, and it's very intense at the ball. Everywhere around the ground, every contest is intense. This is a really good game to be watching right now. Yeah, and it is, it is an arm wrestle at the moment. Again, on the Watch AFL scoreboard, it's one nothing. And again, you're on Go Live Sportscast with the, uh, with the cooperation of our sponsors, Tasmanian and Coopers. This is sent deep inside the 50-meter arc, and this one goes down. And uh, it's going to be picked up there. Out the back goes Morgan White, and he finds the man in uh, th there's a fourth the end of it, which I think is Thomas Core, and he nice sends that one there. forward, and it's a great mark taken. Denver is doing, I think, a little bit cleaner with their skills, Tommy, and it's paying off. They're not on, they're not on the board yet, but they're getting more chances. Well, and the game's starting to go through a little bit. I said it before, Denver gets an advantage coming down from elevation to come play at sea level. I think it's starting to show a little. Sends this one on. He'll try to ride with the win. Christopher Crossdale, nice defensive mark. Quebec is set up really, really well defensively. They're not parking the bus, so to speak. But they come out to the near side, and he finds Doug Slater, one of the D.C. Eagles reserves guys, who helped making up the numbers on this side. Oh, that's out on the full. And it has been sent out onto the, full, onto the full. It'll be a free kick. And just like Uncle Smedley's fourth marriage, that was an unforced error. See if Andy can get it down in their goal squares. Vanica sending that one up high, sending that one into the raffle ticket, and a nice mark taken. And the Quebec defense really, really standing up defensively. Yeah, they're under a lot of pressure right now. They're doing a great job of keeping that away from the middle. Ding, 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 did a ding, ding. And unfortunately, they cave into the pressure. As coming over to take that one was Mark Collins. Mark Collins, who did a very good job as the drummer for Genesis, sees that one slide off the foot, and somehow or another he's find, found a teammate, and it's the man in Peter Lee Kramer, number 59. Sometimes you need a little luck in this game. With a little luck, as this one is set. Oh, this may carry a little bit and almost taken down, but there's a man out the back, and that one was uh, smothered in front. I think Robertson had his paw on it, and the ball goes out of bounds. Still 1-0 Quebec on the watch AFL scoreboard in the waning moments of this first half. Yeah, Denver really needs to get a score out of this. They need to put some points up after all this work. Ball comes back, way in, and the ball goes down. And the ball will tumble out of bounds once again. Arnett went down. I think he's back up. We're good. Boundary throw in upcoming. Ball comes spinning, 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 spinning. Oh, wait. There's Andy. There's Vanica. Vanagos with a shot for goal, but again. And I think that was uh, Rotaru who came across in the back. So Quebec standing up really, really, really well and hanging on perilously to this one-point lead. Oh, there's a mistake. They switched it away. And yeah, that's an absolute, especially into this wind, you got to be very, very careful when you try those long targets. And Joe Karras is able to pick that one off. Well, that's what this game is, right? It's a long game of who makes the least amount of mistakes. The guys that don't, they're the ones that win. And that was a that was a pretty big mistake right in front. We'll see how it turns out. Karras trying to account for a right to left. He absolutely does. And the Denver Bulldogs have hit the front here on Cooper's Field. They go to one straight six. Quebec, one point and only one point. That's on the watch AFL scoreboard. And Tommy, when the wind is taking things the way that it is, I would tend to think that you would probably want to play more on the ground game, more short kicks, more handballs. If you if you if you go for these long kicks with this unpredictable wind, you're playing with fire. Yeah, and I think you'll see it with Denver. I think they've got the wheels for it. They've got the, the lungs. I think you'll see them start to run it a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's that's going to be the key. And you know, Quebec looked really really well for the first you know for the first half of this first half, first quarter of this game, so to speak, as the ball goes to ground once again. And it's been a very, very 
tight and very very nervy game so far, but a very good defensive game. If you like defensive skills, as that one is pushed in the back, it'll be a free kick. Rich man going. Here's Rich Man. He gets rid of it quickly. Man finds a target and connects. You could switch play around here a few times too. Yeah, especially now, especially if you have the wind. The wind is blowing first. You can afford to go right to left. Nice mark over the top. They're really starting to show their dominance right now in this part. Uh, it was one of the 50s. I think that was Bernard, and uh, but again, he turned it over. Oh. <laughs> Casey wanted a push in the back, and I, I think that was a push in the back. It just didn't get called. Could have gone, could have gone either way there, and instead it goes out to the far side and finds the man in uh, 39, 49, 59, something like that. It's Tim Lesser, we'll say. Comes out to the near side, handballs it back to go forward. Here's Garthright, hands it back to the man in Kramer. Kramer goes forward into a mass of bodies. Ball comes to the ground, and the ball squirts free, picked up out of the back by Zaor as that one is marked. And again, it's Garthright, the former all-world member team back in 2017. And that's how he made it, by playing very good defense, sending it forward once again. And now, folks, we're playing aerial ping pong. Out to the near side, a little stabby, stabby kick off the fingertips there of Boudreaux. Marked nicely, or, you know, checked nicely at the very least by Mark Collins. Over and out, the score, 6-1, Denver the lead. That's for Watch AFL, and this is Tom Ellis. Yeah, Denver needs to get another score on the board here quickly. Uh, we're probably coming down to the end of this half. If they can get one more, that would be good. Going after it is uh, is the man in Braden Goodall, and he turns that one over. Baden Goodall, they find there's Garth right again, steps through one tackle, finds the man across in Moore. Moore gets away from one tackle, barely gets to another one. Man sends that one forward now. Nobody's Two players there. there, and it's Morgan White. White looks out into the middle of the ground, and it's marked nicely by Rotaru. Rotaru from Romania going to go through. He gets a weird handball off, but... It's going to be holding. a holding. It looks like high contact. They're going to pay it behind the play, it looks like was the call there. And so it will be a free kick. It's interesting. It wasn't a kick, which is why I don't think they paid it downfield. Yeah. If, my, if I, my understanding of the rules is right, and I've been told that it isn't on many occasions. <laughs> Just like 90% of my marriage, I was wrong. But no, in this case, it will be a free kick. It, it is a free kick to, to Quebec. Time is ebbing away in this first half. That probably helped Denver a little bit to try to get back and get some structure set. Finds Morgan White once again, who's had about 10 possessions, but he turns it over. And a good job of defensive marking by Ryan Hall. So here is Ryan Kids in the Hall. Big, off of one step, gives it the full berries over the top. Vanica <laughs> comes in to spoil that man's McMuffin. Just getting his foot to the ball with Savoy as that one goes out of bounds once again. And I think that has gone straight out on the full. And in fact, it has, well, unless it did go out of bounds first. No, it is a boundary it's, throw it. Somebody might want to tell Vanica he's only 5'8". Yeah. <laughs> Some of us play like we're a foot taller than we really are, Tommy. As the ball comes in, doink. As the ball goes off a defender, comes out to the near side, just got his foot to the ball before he was taken out of bounds, picked up and then squashed by Kieran Bennett, and there is the siren. Wow, there was a lot of action in that. There was only two scoring shots, but at the end of the first half on the Watch AFL scoreboard, it's the Denver Bulldogs one straight six, the Quebec Saints one behind one point only. First half thoughts from Tommy Ellis. Both teams defensively set up behind the ball really well. I mean, that's that's why right, the score is like it is. Um, the win's a little bit of an effect in the game right now, but this is going to come right down to the end. I think fitness will take over at the end. It really will. Well, don't go anywhere, folks, because we have a special interview coming up at halftime with Kane McKay, the producer of the River of Tobruk, uh, which is a, uh, a fantastic documentary that's being shown right now. Don't go anywhere. We'll have him up here in just a moment.